It's a great question. I think a, a lot of the really innovative ideas done in analog or elsewhere, they start bottom up from an individual. And in our case, uh, we had one of our senior designers, uh, Doug Mercer, back in 2007, uh, realized that there wasn't enough hands-on uh, experimentation with students. And so he, he, he went into a collaboration with the RPI, Rensselaer Polytech, uh, developed a, an experimental board that, that would allow uh, really what has turned out to be this analog discovery kit. And for several years, he uh, evolved that at RPI, developed a set of lab exercises that went along with it, uh, taught, a, taught a couple of the courses, and that was so successful that we decided we ought to expand that out, scale that up to a larger number of universities because we, we realized that many schools could take advantage of this. And so that's when we found uh, our initial partner in, in Digilent to be able to be the, uh, the manufacturer of the board and then help, help taking us out to a, uh, to a broader set of schools. And uh, we've, been, uh, we've been delighted at the, uh, the response to date. Uh, over 40, 40, 40 universities in the first year have uh, taken up the, uh, the analog discovery kit and are coming back with uh, new lab exercises and comments about how, how much of a difference it has made in, in sophomore, uh, freshman or sophomore electronic introductory circuits designs. So, uh, so we did it because of the innovation of an individual. Uh, we, then did, we then did it uh, as people realized what it could have if it scaled up and so other people within, uh, within ADI sort of took it on as a program. And now along with various university partners, uh, we're trying to take it to yet the next level. And it's, uh, it's been this evolutionary thing since 2007, but uh, you know, we got a great idea it begins to get legs on its own and is really taking off.